In this video I'm going to show you how to create an animation using Geometry Expressions 3. The animation will be an animated GIF and it's in the form that can be pasted into, for example, PowerPoint and we'll see doing that. I'm going to animate a simple mechanism called the four bar linkage. It actually looks like it's only got three bars, A, B, B, C, C, D, but there's actually a fourth nominal bar between A and D. I'll constrain it by specifying the coordinates of A to be 0, 0. I'll put D at the location A, 0. I'll cons and then I'll constrain the lengths of the three sides. Make that one B. Make that one C. And make this one D. Now I'm going to specify the direction of line AB and call that theta. So I'm now ready to animate based on theta going from 0 to 6.28. Uh, let's see what happens. Um, I'm sure enough it looks okay but we're, um, it doesn't make it all the way around because our sizes aren't quite uh, compatible. Let's drag it to give us a, a little bit better uh, model, one that can make it all the way around the circle. There we go. So now to create an animation I just do file export animation I now have to um, specify uh, a file uh, let's call it 4bar It's going to be a GIF. I get to specify how many dots per inch. I'll use 72. Uh, how many frames per second. And I'll just keep it at 10. And the number of iterations. That means how many times um, will the animation run when it's brought up in uh, in its in an environment. I'd actually want to, it to run. Um, continually, in which case I put zero for the number of iterations. And then, importantly, I have to choose which variable uh, is going to be iterated, uh, which variable is going to move, and in this case it's theta. Okay, now I'm ready, and I have to select a rectangular region. I'll do that. And it's going to create my animation. So now if I go <coughs> into the location I um, saved it. I can see I have the GIF there. I'd like to put that into um, PowerPoint. So I can just drag um, the GIF into my PowerPoint slide. There it is, we'll put it there. And now if I... let's move it up a bit. If I view the slideshow um, we will see the animation happening. 